the, before I was in this situation, I thought everyone deserved it, you know, like they're all alcoholics or they're all drug addicts or whatever, you know. And I didn't give people the time of day, you know, I thought they brought it all on themselves. You have depression, loneliness, when you go to bed at night, you're on your own. It's a shocking experience, believe you me. There's nowhere to go, the hospital to fill, like, you know what I mean? There's nowhere to go. I mean, I've been beat up a couple of times as well, you know, asking the wrong person for help. I've asked someone for some change once, and they just booted me clean in the face. And that wasn't, uh, <laughs> wasn't very nice. It's not all about being a drug addict and a, an alky when you're out here. People are genuine people out here that have just made one or two mistakes, you know, that have brought them to be here. I'm tired, Sophie. I'm feeling lonely. Um, I'm missing your family. It's a real eye-opener. You know, you take things for granted and you appreciate little things, basic little things. You, you get a different outlook on life. You become mature suddenly. You have to. And you have to know how to survive. Most people I'd rather just stop and talk. You know what I mean? It's just a bit acknowledged as a human being, don't you? Not just as a person that lives on the street. Most people just walk on back, don't even look. Like I said, I thought everybody deserves to be in this situation, you know. Now I'm more aware that, you know, everyone's only one mistake away from being where I am.